Kid Brewer Stadium. Kid Brewer Stadium is a 30,000-seat multi-purpose stadium located in Boone, North Carolina. Nicknamed The Rock, the stadium is the home of the Appalachian State Mountaineers football team. It is also the home of the school's track and field team. Kid Brewer stands 3,333 feet 1016 m above sea level. The Mountaineers boast a 225-72-5, 753 home record. History Officially opened on September 15, 1962, as Conrad Stadium, in honor of former university trustee and R.J. Reynolds executive William J. Conrad, the stadium was originally constructed with 10,000 permanent seats. It became the first venue in either North or South Carolina to install artificial turf. The Mountaineers and Elan staged the first game on artificial turf in the Carolinas on October 3, 1970. Seating capacity was expanded to 18,000 following the 1978 season. The stadium was the backdrop for the second college football game ever televised by ESPN as the Mountaineers played the Western Carolina Catamounts for the Old Mountain Jug in 1979. Conrad Stadium was renamed on September 3, 1988 in honor of Kid Brewer, one of the most successful head coaches in Appalachian football history and a colorful part of North Carolina history. Brewer, a Winston-Salem native, served as head football coach of the Mountaineers from 1935 to 1938, compiling a 35-3 overall mark in his four seasons at the helm of the Apps. An All-American at Duke, Brewer's 1937 squad, was unbeaten and unscored upon in the regular season. Appalachian carried a 30-game winning streak, the longest in Division I at the time, before losing to the Georgia Southern Eagles on October 20, 2007. Prior to that game, the Mountaineers' last home loss was in the first round of the playoffs, 13-14, to Maine on November 30, 2002. Renovations is Completion of an extensive renovation and restoration project on the original 10,000 seats in 1995 readjusted the seating capacity to 16,650. A then state-of-the-art at Vision video board was added in 1999 and enlarged prior to the 2001 campaign. Appalachian State was also one of the initial collegiate programs in the country to install field turf at its football stadium in 2003. Following the 2006 season, the press box was removed to make way for a new 100,000 square foot 9,290 and 2 stadium complex. The complex houses state of the art strength and conditioning and athletic training facilities. However, the most visible element of the crown jewel of ASU Athletics' $50 million facilities enhancement campaign is the addition of premium seating on the stadium's west side in the way of 18 luxury suites, 500 club seats and spacious Yosef Club and Chancellor's box areas. An additional 4,400 seats were added to the east side stands prior to the 2008 season, which brought the total seating capacity to 20,150. The addition of the new seats was completed in time for the home opener against Jacksonville, on September 6, 2008. Also new for 2008 was an upgraded AppVision video board which was nearly double the size of the 2001 screen. Current In 2009, the Kid Brewer Stadium complex was completed prior to the home opener against McNeese State. Total seating capacity for 2009 was increased to 21,650 with the opening of the additional premium seating, which includes the 18 luxury suites and 500 club seats in the Yosef Club and Chancellor's box areas. Prior to the 2011 season, temporary bleachers were installed behind the north end zone. The additional 1,500 seats brought capacity to 23,150. The temporary section was further expanded prior to the 2012 season, which brought capacity to 24,050. 2013 saw small ribbon boards installed on the stadium's east and west seating areas. In 2016, 
2,500 seats were installed in the north end zone, replacing the previous bleachers along with additional concession stands. This was done partly in preparation for a home game against the Miami Hurricanes. In 2017, plans were announced for a new video board and ribbon boards to be installed in August. The new board would be around three times as large as the former screen. The work was completed in time for the 2017 season. Along with the North End Zone Complex, 2020 also saw new field turf installed and the hill behind the North End Zone was regraded, bringing it closer to the field. End Zone Expansion In 2018, App State approved a new North End Zone expansion, replacing Owens Field House. The building will add around 1,000 seats to the stadium. It will also accommodate a wide variety of athletics and academic uses. Construction started in 2019 and should be finished by fall 2020. Largest Attendance Gallery